Beer can chicken tastes delicious, but it's not actually because of the beer. In fact, if we're not careful, the beer can actually make it worse. More on that later. Today, we're gonna to cook beer can chicken in three different ways to see what gives us the best result, while highlighting a few common mistakes and tips you can use to get the most delicious, juicy beer can chicken. So we're prepping all three chickens the same. First, we'll dry the skin out with some kitchen towel. This is just gonna help crisp up the skin. We're then gonna coat it with olive oil. This is just a binder for the rub, which we'll add next. Just trimmed off the tails and, and a bit of the excess fat. So today we're using a chili, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, paprika rub, but any will do. Ideally one with nice reddy brown color for chicken always looks nice. Next, we're just gonna tuck those wing tips just to prevent them burning and then get them on the beer cans. So the best beer to use is whichever one you've got lying around in the cupboard. It honestly doesn't make any difference to the flavor, so don't waste your lovely IPAs. Today we're just using a Brooklyn Lager that's been in my cupboard for about a year and I haven't drunk it because I don't really like it. So you want your cans to be about half full, so you pour yourself a drink. I'm just gonna weigh these so that we can re-weigh them later. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video. We'll look at some of the data to see how much beer steam actually evaporates. So we've got 185 grams, and two, three, four. Now, before we pop our chickens on the cans, I'm gonna make the first few changes to my beer can chicken. So firstly, I'm cutting off the top of the beer can. This is just gonna increase the surface area and make it easier for the beer to evaporate. Secondly, I'm gonna warm up the beer on the grill. This is just to help it get up to temperature quicker and make it easier for the beer to evaporate. It also reduces the chances that we undercook the inside of the chicken. Because if you think as soon as the chicken goes on the beer, it's basically a chicken koozie, it's insulating that beer can. And if the beer is cold, then it's gonna make it harder for the inside of the chicken to come up to a safe temperature. Also, by blocking the cavity inside the chicken, we're not getting as much convection heat air cooking the inside of the chicken. So by warming up the beer, we reduce the chance of running into a few of those issues. And third, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of the rub into the beer can just so that if we do get some vapor or steam coming off the beer, it's just infused with a nice bit of flavor. This never feels right. <laughs> Your wingtips. So I'm gonna to top up the rub and on my chicken, I'm also gonna plug the neck hole with a lemon. If you don't do this, what you've got is a chicken shaped chimney and that beer steam's just gonna come in one end and out the other. You can use anything for this. I'm using a lemon, you can use a potato, an onion, an apple, aluminum foil, anything that's gonna plug the neck hole. Okay, so our grill's coming up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna get all three chickens on the grill with probes in both the chicken and the beer. All right, so I'm gonna probe this guy deep in the breast. So that's in with the meter. I'm gonna get that in the beer. All right, so we've got a probe in the beer, we've got a probe in a breast. We'll do that one in the breast as well. There we go. So the chicken's been on the grill for just over an hour. It's just around 64 degrees. It's got another 10 degrees or so to go. I'm just gonna rotate it and basically do a little bit of duck fat just to help it get a little bit more crispy. So gonna crank up the temperature for the last bit of the cook just to help us get crispy skin. So our chicken's coming up to 74 degrees, so it's time to take it off to rest. <coughs> oh God, these handles are a lifesaver. Oh, how juicy that is. All right, so we're gonna go lift our chickens off the beer cans. Whoop. Again, I'm just gonna put that beer aside. And then lastly, we've got our just normal roast barbecue chicken. Whoop, spin them around. So while we wait for our chicken to rest, I thought it might be interesting to see how much beer steam actually evaporated. So before going on the grill, this can weighed 183 grams and this one weighed 236 grams. Let's see how much they weigh now. Now, if you enjoyed these kind of experiments, remember to subscribe to the channel to get a weekly video just like this one. So we can see that one's gone up to 271 grams. That means there have been more juices that have fallen into the beer can than beer that's evaporated out. Let's have a look at the other can. So this can now weighs 199 grams. So it's also increased in weight, which would suggest that not much beer has evaporated. Now, based on this beer's alcohol and water content and our elevation, I've worked out that this beer's boiling point is around about 95.8 degrees Celsius. Now, we can see from the temperature probe data that the beer did actually get above this temperature, but only for about five minutes of the cook. So it's unlikely in that time that much beer would have evaporated. It's very unlikely that the beer that we didn't heat up would have got anywhere near that temperature. Okay, so the chicken's all done. We've got the regular beer can chicken, the one with the changes I made to it, and then lastly, the chicken with no beer can. Let's see how they taste. So I'm just gonna take off a little bit of breast meat. Oh my God. That might be the juiciest chicken I've ever eaten. Wow. So the only downside with this one, we haven't got any crispy skin. See, this one's any better. Oh my God. That is absolutely ridiculous. 
I can't taste any beer. I'll be completely honest. I can sort of, I can smell the fumes of the beer, but I can't actually taste any beer in that. Mmm, oh my god, that's good though. So, so juicy. That's incredible. Moment of truth is, is this beer can chicken actually any better than just normal roast chicken on the barbecue? It's still really juicy. Is it any better than just having some chicken and having a beer? That's better. Much better. But I'm going to say these are actually better. They're, there's definitely a lot more flavour. These two are definitely way, way, way juicier. My God, that was so good. There's not a huge amount in it between these two, but yeah, this one is definitely the winner. Let's see if you can see how much juice is coming off that chicken. It's crazy. Now, despite that minor detail that the beer doesn't really evaporate, so we don't get beer flavor into the chicken, and if we did want it to evaporate, we'd have to cook at too high a temperature that it would likely overcook the chicken. Despite that, it was still really tasty, really juicy, and it's good fun to cook. Now, if I redid this, there is one thing I do differently to get crispier skin, which is follow the steps in this video where I tested 11 different ways to get crispy skin, and I think that would have improved the result. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.